Nostrovia. So we're at Beer's Pub right now. Uh, for people who don't know, this is also the location of War Street's Brewing. War Street's is considered a nano brewery, which means they're not necessarily big enough to be a microbrewery, which has their own location, but this is also a pub that does its own technical brewery right there. So it's kind of like, I'm trying to think of like an equivalent to with regards to it, but honestly nothing is coming to my mind right now, but it's basically a pub that has its own beer. It's kind of like if you ever go to England and you go to a pub on the local corner, they have their own beer. This is kind of the equivalent of it. It's the only one I know of in Pittsburgh. So I'm very excited because War Street's, for as long as I can remember, has had some solid beer. And because I am starving right now, as is my cameraman. So we desperately need some food right now. Lead the way. When in doubt, Pinky's out. Just remember that. We are here at Beer's Pub, which is where War Street Brewery is located. It's one of the only two nano breweries I know of in Pittsburgh. Another one's in Pleasant Hills, which will be like a, for a future episode. Right now, I'm drinking a Carrington Street Kolsch. Probably the, one of the lighter beers that I've had all day, even though, I will say, the, uh, the blueberry session that I had at Bristol's was also lighter than this, but this is probably one of the biggest power flavors that I'm doing right now. Did you guys get a strong smell? We did. Yes, we did. Thank you. Let's get fast. Oh, Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. That was extremely fast. Very malty. Not strong on the back end at all. But this is absolutely what I needed right now because of the fact that I've had some strong flavors all day right now. And frankly, I came here because I needed something to kind of mellow out all the strong flavors I have. And also, it's a delicious food because I'm about to do that with some fucking presents. Right now. Cheers to Wall Street Brewing on that. For a delicious coach. Very refreshing, I must say, as well. Alright, so this just landed in the honey or the hot mustard, but. If you're a beer person and you don't have a special relationship with pretzels, you're an idiot. Pretzel necklaces for the win! Always. That has relish in it. That's awesome. Palate cleanser for the, the working man. Wow, that's really good. It's jalapeno and relish. Alright. I have the Resco Red Ale. I thought that Abby was gonna make me drink the red rum. Luckily she pulled up. So, what's it smell like? I love red ale. Um, the first time I ever went to the Pittsburgh Irish Festival, I drank Killian's Red Ale the entire night. Not part I didn't say that. <laughs> anyway, so I've had a special heart, a special place in my heart for Red Ales ever since. <laughs> Kiss me, I'm Irish. I don't know why I'm over. Abby's eyes, they are smiling. And then seldom so. Gaelic storm the second I took a sip of it. It just overcame me. I'm like 19 again, right back at the Pittsburgh Irish Festival. He was under he was underage. Yeah, well, yeah. Exactly. 19 you can drink. Yeah. That's delightful. Um so if you're like, oh Josh, what's that taste like? So if you're like dark beers are too dark for me, but I don't like hoppy shit. And you're like, ah, nut brown's not enough, and a lager's too light. Red ale. So it's got a kick of the hops. It's got a kick of the barley. It's this beautiful blend. 
good at 5.7%, you could drink all day and feel fucking awesome. Uh, the pretzels are great, the beer is good. We have these awesome new Pittsburgh Brewery passport guides that we're gonna absolutely get through as part of the brewery tours. Bet they don't have that in Nashville. We're gonna hold off on this, thankfully. Go for it. That's all I got. What'd you think, or Anthony Bourdain of War Street Pubs? War Street Pubs, okay. So, War Street, obviously, Nano Brewery, something that we discussed on this as well, is that kind of relatable to an English pub, whereas they brew their own stuff. Beer's Pub is exactly what I expected it to be because I've been there before and I love their food. They set me straight, got me some jalapeno cream cheese with my pretzels, got me a nice smoked salmon sandwich. I'm feeling great. I feel full. I'm ready to attack yet another brewery. This will be our sixth of the day because my cameraman decided to convince me to do it. And uh, cameraman, by the way, you have a very hot take about Beer's Pub that I just wanted to throw out there. What was it on your that's my second favorite place in the city behind Stinky's. Nostrovia!